Hey traders, I'm Delgado here, Max Sass commentator at Global Prime Brokerage Firm. Now, if you've been using TradingView for a while, you may start to realize that you are probably always using the same limited number of drawing tools. Because of that, in this video, I want to show you a feature that for a long time it's been integrated within TradingView that is going to make your experience in selecting such drawing tools much simpler and time efficient. So let's dive straight into it. Today we're going to be talking about the favorite toolbar. So the favorite toolbar is essentially a section right here you can find in the bottom left side of your screen and by tapping into it you will notice that a number of limited drawing tools are going to be popping up. Now it is here where you have to make a choice. You have to work out what are your favorite drawing uh, tools. You will be selecting them through the left panel right here. So for instance, you will notice that through this first category, trend line tools, there's a bunch of them. Whichever one you over time realize that you're using the most, you might want to actually just select by adding that one to favorites. So if I were to add this uh, ray in favorites, you will notice that the ray will appear in my favorite toolbar. If I were to now tick it, it will disappear. So there you have it. This is a way for you to default to your uh, favorite tools. And this is going to be, as I said, very handy in my case. I've already gone through a bunch of this customized preference that I almost always choose, such as dra uh, drawing support and resistance, uh, you know, having a box in case that we are going through a period of consolidation, drawing. Uh, also, we got the measure. You know, the measure is something very handy if you want to be calculating 100% projection targets and so forth. Fibonacci retracements or long and short depends on your preference. That is up to you. You want to then select your favorite drawing tools and then have them allocated, have them placed in your favorite toolbar. And from there, obviously, you can just place that uh, favorite toolbar wherever you find most convenient and uh, not really cluttering your chart. So there you have it. This is uh, today's uh, tip. I'll be back with more videos real soon. Cheers.